This is Victoria from CrushCrypto.com. This video is a deep dive look at Ethereum, which currently ranks as the second largest cryptocurrency in the world in terms of market cap. As always, we are not paid or mandated to do any of our reviews. This is just our personal opinion and analysis for educational purposes only and not financial advice. Please always do your own research before making any investment decisions. Ethereum is a blockchain-based decentralized platform designed for running smart contracts. It was created by the Ethereum Foundation, a Swiss nonprofit that was led by Vitalik Buterin. The Ethereum Foundation supports Ethereum by leading research, development, as well as education efforts for the platform. Smart contracts are key to Ethereum's value proposition. These are simply pieces of code stored on the blockchain that can read and write data and are triggered by blockchain transactions. Similar to transactional history, smart contracts are immutable once written into the blockchain and can never be changed. Smart contracts are important because they allow for the creation of decentralized applications that can automate processes and will run exactly as programmed forever with no possibility of censorship or downtime. For more information, check out our article, What is a Smart Contract? on our website. Ethereum currently uses a proof-of-work consensus mechanism to validate blocks of transactional data and keep the network secure from malicious actors. This means that miners across the world are constantly competing to validate blocks and receive the block rewards and transaction fees associated with each block. However, a switch to proof-of-stake is planned for implementation in the next one to two years. For more information, check out our articles What is Proof-of-Work as well as What is Proof-of-Stake on our website. The native currency for Ethereum is called Ether, or ETH for short. It essentially powers the platform through transaction fees. However, one of the biggest features of Ethereum is for the creation of unique tokens that exist and operate on the Ethereum blockchain. There are many different types of Ethereum tokens, but the most popular one is a standard called ERC20. This led to the explosion of initial coin offerings, or ICO for short. An ICO is a fundraising model where companies raise money from investors in return for a certain amount of a unique token. From January through September of 2018, there have been over $7 billion raised by companies through ICOs. The idea for Ethereum was initially described in a white paper released in late 2013 by Vitalik Buterin, a programmer who was working as a writer for Bitcoin Magazine at the time. He argued that Bitcoin needed a scripted language for application development. He did not receive much agreement from the community, so he proposed a new platform called Ethereum with a more general scripting language. A public announcement on Ethereum was made in January 2014, and a formal development began in early 2014. The Ethereum Foundation was also created as a Swiss nonprofit that would oversee R&D of the platform. The Ethereum crowd sale took place for 42 days from July 20th to September 2nd in 2014. Over 31,500 Bitcoin was raised and close to 16 million Ether was distributed to contributors. This gave Ether a valuation of $18.4 million at the time, enough to be the 8th largest cryptocurrency by market cap then. Ethereum's mainnet was then deployed on July 30th, 2015. In 2016, the DAO, which stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization, was developed. The DAO was a decentralized VC fund that would approve and fund new decentralized applications built on top of Ethereum. It operated with a DAO token that was purchased with Ether and ended up raising 14% of the total Ether supply from over 11,000 contributors for a valuation of around $150 million. On June 17, 2016, an anonymous hacker exploited a loophole in the DAO smart contract and was able to steal 3.6 million Ether, worth roughly $55 million at the time. The Ethereum community and Ethereum Foundation decided to implement a hard fork, essentially creating a new blockchain that reversed the hack and gave people their hacked Ether back. The new hard forked chain was continued as Ethereum, while the existing chain that used to be Ethereum was renamed to Ethereum Classic. There was a lot of controversy between people who agreed with the hard fork and those who thought the original blockchain should continue on. However, most miners in the community agreed to make the switch and Ethereum continued without losing a significant chunk of Ether to the hacker. The Ethereum Virtual Machine is a Turing complete virtual machine that can execute scripts using a global network of public nodes. Ethereum allows for the creation and deployment of smart contracts, which act as immutable programs that have a variety of use cases. Ethereum also supports the development of decentralized apps that allow users to interact with smart contracts and have no possibility of downtime, censorship, or fraud. 
There is a wide range of Ethereum token standards that allow for the creation of unique tokens with different properties existing on the Ethereum blockchain. These tokens have been used in most ICOs and power popular decentralized apps such as CryptoKitties. As Ethereum was one of the first platforms with smart contract functionality and an easy to use native programming language, it has attracted a large number of blockchain developers from around the world. As of September 2018, there are over 19,000 GitHub repositories related to Ethereum with 270,000 code commits. The Enterprise Ethereum Alliance was formed in March 2017 as a consortium of companies committed to the integration of blockchain technology within enterprises. Initially, there were 30 founding companies and the number has since grown to over 500 and includes big names such as Microsoft, BP, JP Morgan, BBVA, Accenture, and many more. In February 2014, the first Ethereum proof of concept was released. In July of 2015, the Ethereum blockchain was officially deployed live under its Frontier release. In June 2016, the DAO was hacked through a recursive calling vulnerability and the attacker made up with $55 million worth of Ether. In July of that year, the Ethereum hard fork was completed. Ethereum moved on with a new blockchain and 85% support from miners, and the original blockchain was continued as Ethereum Classic. In February 2017, the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance was formed with over 30 corporate members, and in March of this year, the first wave of the Ethereum Foundation grants were announced. Since then, more grants have been announced. For more details on the project's historical milestones and for future technical updates, please check out Ethereum's official blog. Ethereum is also an open source project and its source code can be viewed on GitHub. Although there is no official Ethereum roadmap, there is a lot planned for implementation in the coming years, including a major consensus mechanism overhaul from proof of work to proof of stake. This switch was initially planned to take place within a few years of the initial Ethereum release, but has been postponed multiple times. The four development stages of Ethereum are called Frontier, Homestead, Metropolis, and Serenity. Metropolis has been broken up into two stages called Byzantium and Constantinople. The next major upgrade coming to Ethereum is Constantinople. It will feature five different Ethereum improvement proposals and will be implemented through a hard fork. Constantinople is characterized as a maintenance and optimization upgrade and will include updates to network efficiency and fee structure, a reduced block reward of 2 Ether, smart contract improvements, and more. After Constantinople is released, the next major upgrade will be the implementation of Casper and sharding. Casper is the proof-of-stake protocol for Ethereum, and sharding will expand the scalability of Ethereum by many folds. A major area that Ethereum needs to improve on is scalability. The network can currently handle 10 to 15 transactions per second, but this is not nearly close to the throughput needed to realize the Ethereum Foundation's vision of becoming a smart contract platform. On-scale scaling solutions such as sharding are being worked on, but for now, applications can scale using off-chain solutions such as Plasma and State Channels. In addition, there is a lot of community-based research going on for Ethereum. Research topics include signature aggregation, random number generation, fork choice, data availability, light client support, PCP communication, cross-shard communication, state execution separation, among others. Ether is a native token for the Ethereum blockchain that acts as fuel for transactions and for deploying smart contracts. It is a form of payment made by the clients of the platform to the machines executing the requested operations. Ether is also the incentive for developers to write quality smart contracts as wasteful code costs more to execute and ensures those who contribute computing resources are properly compensated. After the crowd sale, 16 million Ether were created and 12 million of that was locked in as a development fund. The issuance of Ether is capped at 18 million per year, although the relative inflation is decreasing every year. At the moment, 3 Ether are created with each block with an inflation rate of 7.4% per year. However, a new protocol update called Ethereum Improvement Protocol 1234 will be implemented as part of Constantinople. This will reduce the block reward to 2 Ether and bring the annual inflation rate down to 4.7%. When Casper and Proof of Stake is implemented, the inflation rate will drop down even lower to below 1%. The Ethereum Foundation is the main organization that supports R&D and education efforts for the Ethereum network. It was founded as a Swiss nonprofit in 2014 and still operates out of Switzerland. The biographies of the key people behind the Ethereum ecosystem are shown on this slide. Here are some of our thoughts on the project's strengths. 
The developer community for Ethereum is one of the largest in the blockchain space, and they have a first mover advantage over other platforms in terms of smart contract and decentralized app development. This creates a strong network effect because more support and resources will be spent on developing this ecosystem as the network becomes larger. Ethereum also enjoys a strong network effect in terms of blockchain usage. Because of the many projects being built on Ethereum and ease of issuing new tokens, Ethereum is the most used blockchain and averages over 600,000 transactions per day over the past six months. Most of the new stable coins are issued as Ethereum tokens. These are various forms of promising stable coins, which are all ERC20 tokens. We believe that stable coins play an important role in the crypto space, and if one of these stable coins become the dominant one, it could boost the usage of Ethereum significantly. Because Ether is a form of programmable money, certain functions such as gambling and staking require locking Ether, which cannot be released during the period that it is staked. This would, in effect, take the coins out of circulation and reduce the velocity of the coin. Ethereum is the most mature smart contract platform that has been battle tested, and once the shift to proof of stake has been completed, the inflation rate is expected to be lower than 1%, making it less inflationary compared to other competing projects. Many tokens have an Ether trading pair in addition to Bitcoin on exchanges, which encourages investors to hold Ether. These investors are used to holding and transacting Ether and related tokens, which promotes the adoption of Ethereum. The Enterprise Ethereum Alliance contains many major companies and they are all committed to driving adoption and usage of the Ethereum platform in the global economy. If these companies decide to use a public blockchain, we believe they would go for a more mature platform instead of an unproven one. In terms of weaknesses, there are many smart contracts currently deployed on the Ethereum network that have security vulnerabilities, with the more notable ones being the DAO hack and Parity multi-sig vulnerability. Once deployed, these vulnerabilities will be there forever and can lead to stolen or lost funds as well as other issues. Protocol update delays like Casper, sharding, and other Ethereum upgrades have been delayed multiple times. It is important to ensure the updates are ready before implementation, but taking too long to deliver could also discourage the community. It is difficult to upgrade a protocol drastically and ensure backward compatibility, especially when there are so many live smart contracts deployed already. There is no guarantee that the Ethereum 2.0 vision can be achieved at all because of the complexity of the work involved. As other scalable smart contract platforms go live, it may draw developer interest away from Ethereum. The entire space is still very early and competent developers can easily switch between different platforms if other platforms prove to be more promising. And finally, scalability is still a major issue for the Ethereum network. This has been highlighted by the various DOS attacks and network congestion from popular decentralized apps such as CryptoKitties. Overall, we have assigned an A rating to Ethereum. Ethereum is a strong project with a great research team, community, and support from businesses around the world. It is remarkable that it has built such a large network of developers and users in such a short period of time after only launching its mainnet in 2015. It is the most mature smart contract platform, drawing the most usage, and despite delayed protocol upgrades, we believe it has one of the best chances of achieving mainstream adoption as a smart contract platform. The community strength can also be seen by the large turnouts at Ethereum hackathons and developer conferences like DevCon. These events continue to get bigger, sell out, and feature support from well-known companies. There are lots of smart contract platforms with different technical features, but the community behind Ethereum is currently unmatched by any of them. As many decentralized apps are still being developed and there are no major apps that require high throughput, Ethereum is still the preferred smart contract platform at the moment despite its scalability issues. We believe the biggest risk Ethereum has is its own development progress. If the improvements of the protocol continue to be delayed, then developers may be forced to use other platforms that can support the throughput that new dApps demand. There are numerous other smart contract platforms promising better technology, so they could potentially replace Ethereum as a dominant platform if they can draw significant developer interest. Thank you very much for watching our video on Ethereum. If you haven't already, please follow us on social media or join our official Telegram announcement channel to get our latest updates. The invite link to our Telegram channel can be found in the video description. See you next time and keep on crushing your crypto game.